Hey, good day. This is Robert Brown with a quick Rob report, and it is official. Joe Biden says he would consider a Republican for his running mate. Ha! <laughs> ah. Go figure. I am not shocked. <laughs> Joe Biden said he would consider a Republican for his running mate. Not another Democrat. Not 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 Tulsi Gabbard. Not Bernie Sanders. <laughs> not Amy Klobuchar. But then again, let me stop. What Joe Biden is really saying, I would consider anybody but a lefty. Anybody a lefty. Yeah, he might well to me, I mean, if you're going to make that stance, why don't you go ahead and say, look, I'll even consider somebody in the Green Party as my running mate. Jill Stein, Jamu Baraka as my running mate. He said, I would consider a Republican for his running mate. And it's true because Joe Biden is a Republican. Everything in his record is pure T Republican. His whole entire history has been centric to the right, center right policies. Some of it is straight up Republican policies, such as the crime bill, which him and Bill Clinton introduced into this world one of the most devastating hit pieces hit pieces of legislation on the black community in history and yet he want the black vote and yet these elderly black people still consider him well I'm gonna vote for Joe Biden because he was Obama is that why you gonna vote for somebody because they were somebody vice president do you realize choosing a vice president is a calculated effort to win it has nothing to do with what they're going to do for you just because he was with obama does not mean he's going to do a doggone thing for you and obama didn't do anything for you so why you think joe biden's going to do for you you get that man some kind of power and authority he's going to push right wing policies like he did all his life all his life he's been pushing right wing policies now listen Let's read the article. Joe Biden said he would consider a Republican for his running mate. Before we read this article, when he say he'll choose a Republican, he really mean he'll choose a uh, anybody but a lefty. I'll choose Amy Klobuchar. Heck, I'll choose. And uh, Andrew Yang said he would be considered. He would love to be vice president to Joe Biden. <laughs> he'll consider Andrew Yang. He'll consider. Elizabeth Warren, he'll consider because she is a Republican. Oh, she has some left policies that she's pushing. She's changed, but she's still kissing up to the capitalists. She's still kissing up to the wealthy people. She's still kissing up to um, people who. Um, and she's still kissing up to all these people, and there's nothing they could, they nothing they can do about that. She's not gonna. I'll tell you, she she will be the main one to get whooped against Trump. Trump will knock her butt out of the box. And yeah, Bernie Sanders is right. Trump will knock Joe Biden out of the box. But in some cases, Trump will lay some punches into Bernie Sanders too, because he did sign that crime bill. Trump will beat him over the head with just the crime bill alone. And other wars. And other things that Bernie Sanders probably signed on. Now, Bernie Sanders is not perfect. He have made some bad decisions himself. Most of them were right decisions, but he have made bad decisions. A lot of us make right decisions, but a lot of us make bad decisions. You can find the goodiest goody goody person on this planet, and they'll make they'll tell you some of the bad decisions that they made. Unfortunately, these bad decisions that he made hurt the black community. Now, let's get into this article, because anybody that's not a lefty is considered a Republican these days, in my book. And you ever wonder why they, they always on, um, they always on Tulsi Gabbard about her vote, her non-vote, her voting absent, and never talk about the people who voted no, the Joe Manchins, the, 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 your boy over there in Alabama. 90%, 97% black people voted Doug Jones to be the governor of Alabama, and he sided with Trump anyway. He sided to vote no. And it wasn't because he didn't think the impeachment was wrong. It's because 
He's a Republican. I wouldn't be surprised if Trump don't pick Doug Jones for his vice. I mean, if um, Biden don't pick Doug Jones for his VP. But let's get into this. Joe Biden told voters in New Hampshire on Monday that he would consider choosing a Republican as a running mate. Why would you say something like that to so-called potential Democratic voters or, you know, <laughs> you, to me, you don't say, just say, look, whoever got your best interest at heart, I'm willing to pick them. But no, he had to say Republicans. But he added, I can't think of one right now. Get out of here with this, bro. You can think of plenty of them right now. Plenty of them. Biden discussed the possibility after the woman told the former vice president that if he is the nominee, he will have to pull out all the stops, which is true. Our 21-year-old son said the other night, I wonder if Joe Biden would consider choosing a Republican as his running mate. The woman added, the answer is I would, but I can't think of one now, Biden replied. Let me explain that. You know, there's some really decent Republicans that are out there still. But there's the problem. But here's the problem right now. They got to step up. How they got to step up to impress you? He's trying to use that as a bully pulpit to see which Republican will step up and vote against the impeachment of Trump and dump on Trump. And that's the person who I make might 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 make my VP. So he using this statement as a dangling to to maneuver the impeachment process. He thinks he's slick. Now you gotta understand, I'm in the hood uh, at a Dunkin' Donuts. So hang in there with me. He said over the past few months, Biden has offered several clues about who he might consider as his vice presidential pick if he earns the Democratic nomination. He previously said he would prefer to pick someone of color and of a different gender. Yeah, but what if they're not worth crap when it comes to legislating, when it comes to record, Joe? I mean, I like my black brothers and sisters, but what if they don't have black people interests at heart? Because you sure don't. As his potential running mate, Biden has acknowledged that he think about adding Senator Kamala Harris of California and Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts to his possible ticket. So that's why Kamala Harris dropped out. Because they might make a ticket as if that's going to make the black people come out and vote. You get Kamala Harris as your side mate, Trump is going to win in a landslide. Now let's get back to this. Whoever I would pick for a vice president, and there's a lot of qualified women, there's a lot of qualified African Americans, there, um, there really truly are. Uh, here's the panel. There are a plethora of really qualified people, whomever I would pick, where I, fortunately enough to be your nominee, I pick somebody who was sympathetical with me, or sympathetical with me, who knew what I what my priorities were and knew what I wanted to do. Biden said to Exerta on Monday, we could disagree on tactic, but strategically we, we'd we have to be in the exact same page. No modern presidential campaign has featured, so that means he's not going to vote a lefty guy. He's gonna, he's gonna, his, his pick is going to be somebody that's centered Republican, a centric, a centrist or whatever you want to call it. They say the featured bipartisan ticket, the late John McCain, the Republican presidential candidate in 2008, considered former Senator Joe Lieberman, a Democrat, and turned independent, kind of like Bernie, as a possible running mate before settling on Alaskan Governor Sarah Pelling as his vice presidential pick. Now, look, Bernie's an independent. He's not a Democrat. He's only running a Democratic ticket. But Joe Biden would never, ever pick Bernie Sanders, even if it meant winning. Just like Hillary Clinton, all he is is Hillary Clinton 2.0, the worser version of Hillary Clinton. Now, look, now I'm done with this particular one, but the bottom line is Joe Biden has said, look, it doesn't matter who I may pick. He's basically saying, look, I, I, I'll pick anybody but a dog on lefty. I'm not going to ever pick a Bernie Sanders. I'm not going to pick a Tulsi Gabbard. I'm not going to pick a Nina Turner. I'm not going to pick anybody that's really on the left. Uh, I might pick Elizabeth Warren if she, if we can figure she'll pick up some of Bernie's supporters. But, you know, that ain't going to happen. 
It's just not going to happen. You picking Elizabeth Warren ain't going to siphon off Bernie Sanders supporters. She losing her own support. All right. Picking Andrew Yang ain't going to do nothing for you. You might get some Asian support, but that's it. I mean, you, you picking a lot of these people to represent um, represent the bottom line. He said he's going to pick um, somebody that's like me, like minded, a Republican. Kamala Harris, lightweight Republican. Joe Manchin, Republican. Amy Klobuchar, Republican. Pete Buttigieg, Republican. None of these people are lefties, never going to be lefties. They're never going to be, you know, no, 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 no. Joe Biden will let you know right now, before I pick Bernie Sanders, before I pick Tosa Gatta, anybody that's going to buck up against my corporate buddies, buck up against my Wall Street buddies, anybody that's really going to talk about making changes to the system, ain't no way I'm voting for them. I'd rather vote for another Republican. And here's my ticket. For whatever Republican that can step up, shh, be quiet. If he can step up and vote against Trump, I may pick you as my VP. But you gotta vote against Trump in the impeachment trial and keep the heat off me. Let's stay focused on Trump. If you can stop talking about me and you can, you can help me with keeping the focus on Trump and his crimes and not talk about my crimes, I may pick you as VP. No, Joe. No, no. No, 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 no. Bad enough. You will get stumped by Trump. Contrary to what my black people believe. You're going to get stumped. Sure. If he get the nomination, Obama's going to come out there and stump for Joe Biden. But then again, he may not because he don't want nobody to mess up his legacy any more than he figured it is right now. But let me tell you something. I pray that my people continue to look at the record of a politician. And my con people continue. And when I say my people, I'm talking about the whole human, you know, society. But I'm specifically talking about the black people, especially elder, older black people my age and up. Uh, that's keen on Obama. And love Joe because he was Obama's friend. That don't mean he was your friend. Look at his record and determine whether he was a friend to black people or not. He could tell all the stories about popcorn or corn pop and kids rubbing his, the blonde on his legs and all that kind of stuff and sitting on his laps and cockroaches all he want. Nobody's buying that, Joe. Nobody's buying it. You got too many black people in jail as a result of your policies. Too many people got killed and beat up by police because of your policies, even to this day. You got other people who took suit and came up with their own legislation in their state just to get federal funding because of that bill. And it hurt us bad. And you, ain't, you don't have no agenda for black people. You have an agenda for gays. You have an agenda for Hispanic. All I hear about is Hispanic. Like, um, all I hear is about an agenda for Latino. All I hear about is agenda for um, uh, the LGBTQ community. All I hear about is an uh, agenda for, every, uh, for, for, for uh, Muslims. But I never hear anything about the so-called, about the real forgotten man. And that is the... American black community. And I mean, though, when I say that, I mean American descendants of slaves. So, no, Joe, no, this ain't gonna play. This ain't gonna fly, bro. <laughs> this is one of the most stupid statements you ever said out of your mouth. I, I, I'm wondering, like Cora Booker, uh, were you smoking drugs when you made the statement? Basically saying, I'm, uh, uh, anybody that's gonna do something for you, I'm not picking them. Anybody that's going to do something for me and my buddies Because that's where I'm at We here That's who I'm picking Anyway, I'm Rob Brown with Rob Report I can't do no Rob Report right now Because it's the holidays And I got all kind of stuff going on over here On my neck of the woods Where I can't go to my setup And do a show um, But um, I'll be back soon I love you guys uh, If you like the video, like, subscribe, share uh, You know how to reach me at um, if you want to donate to Bob TV, uh, do it through my PayPal. I mean, do it through my Cash App. Um, no, do it through PayPal uh, at Bob TV NYC. All caps. Any amount would be appreciated. And um, look, I do this for you. I do this because I love you. And uh, and make sure you like it. And make sure you share it. And uh, that's more important than anything. And uh, 
Hey, hey, happy new year, guys. Just in case I don't talk to you, this is your year. I'm starting more stuff on my channel. Um, I'm going to start doing more things that I like to do on my channel. It's not going to always be political. I like to do product and movie reviews. I'm going to do that, so bear with me. Um, I'm also going to do a reaction show, Rob reacts, Uncle Rob's Reactions. Well, I'm going to react to movies, music videos, and stuff like that, too. I'm just going to have fun on my channel, and I hope you guys hang in there with me and participate with me too and I am a speaker uh, and I am a lecturer on the subject of loving people unconditionally and forgiving people and moving forward and and making a better life because of how you decide to love people and I do do that um, uh, in public surroundings and um, you know I don't do it for a fee I mean people want to donate they can but I do it because I want to make sure people learn how to love one another so on that note uh, Whenever I have one of those speaking engagements come, I'll talk about it on the channel also. So bear with me. I want to do more with my channel and next year have a little fun with it and, and bring you guys in on the fun. Because I don't want you to guys get so serious and hung up on these numb nuts who will not do for anything for you personally. Personally. None of them. You get in a situation, ain't none of them going to come out and get you out. You get kicked out of your house, none of them going to come out and personally put you in a house. That's why I tell people don't get caught up on people. Only keep get caught up on platforms and movements. Never get caught up on people. And even then, you got to trust something bigger and better than that just in case that fail. You still got to move forward and live your best life. And the only person that can do that is you. Nobody can do it for you. No political savior, no political government can help you be the best you can be. Only you can do that. Anyway, I love you guys. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.